tutorial from graphicdesignottawa.com. Okay, today we're learning how to remove the background in Photoshop. Okay, first thing we do here, we've got an image. We're going to choose the magnetic lasso tool. Okay, so you're going to make a loose selection around your whole image using the magnetic lasso tool. Now we're going to grab the basic lasso tool. We're going to come in closer, okay? And we're going to just perfect the perfect the mask. So the imperfections, we're going to fix them up. So by holding shift, as you can see here, a little plus sign appears. That means you're adding to the selection this way here. <laughs> Click Option or Alt, you get a little minus. So this removes the mask. Okay, so Shift for plus, Alt Option for minus. So we're just going to go around and refine our mask this way here. Okay, so once my full image has been selected, I then want to refine that selection even further. So we're going to go up here to Select, Modify, Contract by about two pixels, one or two pixels. What this does is makes that selection one or two pixels smaller. So you don't get the, um, an edge around, it's going to go right up to your image. You won't get that white edge around the, the black character here. Okay, so then we're going to go again to Select, Modify, Feather. We don't want a, a very sharp edge. We're going to feather that by about one, again, one or two pixels. I'm choosing one, okay? And that's going to feather our edge ever so slightly so that it's smoother. So when you put it into another background, it's not that sharp, okay? Now, that's it. That's it for our selection. What we want to do now, though, is we could just copy-paste removing the background or delete the background. I don't like to do this. I like to, what I like to do is create a mask. So come down here and click Mask. And as you can see, this, this creates a mask of our selection and removes it from the background. The reason I like to do this is, it, is that deleting your background is permanent. With a mask, I can always refine my mask. I can always make some alterations to it using just the brushes and add or remove. This is very useful if you've got very um, intricate things to select like hair, spikes, things like that. You can always go back and alter it later on. Okay, that's it for that tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, IMX Productions, and visit the, visit the website, graphicdesignottawa.com. Thank you.